In the last set of videos, we covered the essentials of using backgrounds in Tailwind CSS. In the coming set of videos, starting with this one, we will explore the concepts that lay a foundation to building websites. In this video, we are diving into one of the fundamental yet often overlooked concepts in Tailwind CSS. It's the container class. We will explore what it is, why it's useful and see it in action with a practical example. I have watched several videos and read several articles on this topic and none of them provided a clear explanation except just copy pasting whatever is in the documentation. So I'm excited to break it down for you in the simplest way possible. Firstly, let's understand what a container is in Tailwind CSS. A container in Tailwind CSS is a utility class that provides a responsive fixed width layout. Essentially, what it means is it adjusts the width of your content based on the user's screen size, creating a fixed width for each different screen size. This helps to manage the width of your content and ensure it looks good on different screen sizes. Instead of stretching your content to fill the entire width of the screen, a container helps to keep it aligned properly. This way, you don't have to design for every possible screen size that exists just for the breakpoints that Tailwind provides. Let me explain this visually. Here, the white background that you see is the default page background and its width is 2429 pixels. That's my screen width of the monitor that I use. And the element with orange background is the div element that I gave the container class to. So what the container class is doing here is, it is setting the maximum width for the orange background based on the screen width according to Tailwind's breakpoints. Let me show the Tailwind's breakpoints. So here are the Tailwind's breakpoints. We will again cover the responsive design and the breakpoint system everything in detail in the coming videos. But for now, just understand that Tailwind provides different breakpoints to create responsive designs. And here with the container class, we are not using these breakpoints. These are just for explanation. The speciality of this container class is it automatically makes this container that you are seeing the orange container responsive without using these breakpoints. So how this works is when the screen size is more than 1536 pixels, the container class automatically sets the width to its maximum. That is 1536 pixels. If the screen size is more than 1536 pixels, as you can see, it's 2429 here, then the maximum width would be 1536. Let me reduce the screen width. If it goes beyond below 1536 pixels and above 1280 pixels, then the maximum width will be 1280 pixels. You can see this 1501 is above 1280 and below 1536. So the maximum width for the container would be 1280 pixels. The same principle applies to the remaining screen width as well. So let's go below 1280 and you can see the maximum width is 1024 now. And let's go below 1024. You can see 768 is the container width. And if you go below 768, it would be 640. And if you go below 640, it would just take the entire width. So that's how the container works and as you can see the element this container element is only towards the left that is because if we use only container it only works with the width but it does not center this so we always use mx auto along with this container to center it horizontally so let me add that and once you add mx auto then it looks like this it is exactly centered so based on the screen size again it changes the width but also centers the element. It's no more exactly on the left, it's always in the center. Now let's do the same from scratch where I'll show the code and output. Here I am in a blank project. So in the index.html, I don't have anything. So inside the body, I'll add a div element. I'll say container. And I'll add a background to this. I'll make the text white and big. Mm. 
this is only for styling now let's see how this looks i'll also add some height to this so this is how it looks it is occupying the full width by default and even if you change the screen size it doesn't matter it always takes the full width now let's add container to this development and save it and now you can see that it is occupying only this much space this is the maximum so it is occupying 1536 pixels and if you are reducing it just below that you can see again it adjusted to the screen width I mean the container width based on the screen width and again if you reduce beyond below this it is again adjusting and now if you add mx auto to this it centers the container you can see it came into the center that's a quick overview of the container class in tailwind css it is incredibly useful for creating responsive layouts with fixed widths at different breakpoints with so many devices and screen sizes today, the container class helps ensure your website looks great without needing to design for every possible size. In the next video, we will dive into the various positioning utilities Telvin CSS provides, allowing you to precisely place elements on your website. Stay tuned and I'll see you there.